So, Montenegro have announced their singer and song, just the title. They have selected Slavko Karolzic. Um, he was on the X Factor actually the same year Daniel Kashmakosmi was on it and won for Macedonia. Um, bit of a colourful character, shall we start off by saying, but Emily, what are your thoughts on Slavko? <laughs> Um, well, at first, I was sort of unsure about him. Um, I watched, I think it was a Beyonce cover um, from X Factor, and I was like, what is this? Like, it it was, I don't know, it was a bit strange. But then, I then went on to watch, I think, where I've got it written down, uh, Krivac, I think that's how you pronounce it. And I don't know if it's his song or if it's a cover or anything, but it was on X Factor Adria. And that was amazing, for me anyway. It reminded me of Serbia 2010, um, and that did quite well, and I really liked that song. Um, so if he were to do something along those lines, I think it would, it would do really well for Montenegro, I think, and bring them to the final again. Um, but it could go two ways, I suppose. It, it depends what space will be like. I'm hoping it will be like that. but. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I found out he was announced, I obviously went on YouTube and looked at all the stuff. I just thought this is the most polarising thing they could get from the last three entries from Adio, <laughs> The Real Thing, and Sergei Sekrovich. This is the most polarising thing they could think of. And for the contest and for the fun factor, it's going to be amazing because I don't think he's going to do a ballad. I don't think. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say this won't be a serious entry because I think he is gonna take it seriously, but this isn't gonna be like a serious, powerful, dramatic ballad. I think this is gonna be very camp, very fun, lots of pyro, colours, you know, everything uh, they can afford really. And mm -hmm. for a three-minute piece on a, on a Tuesday or Thursday night, I think that'd be fabulous. I think he will benefit the fact that Televote have their own say as well if that um, voting system is carrying on, because obviously the juries I don't think are gonna. If he does go for that sort of route, I don't think the juries are going to mark it high, but we saw in 2013 with in Glanka, I think you say it, the televote ranked them so high in the same thing. I think it was like third or fourth, they put them so high. Now, because it's a different system, that could get them through to the final, and I'll hold complete judgement until I hear his song. <laughs> I'm just not sure, it's just a bit wacky and crazy and loopy, and, you know, we haven't had that for Eurovision for a few years, so it's just a bit of a, a bit of a confusing thing that they've gone back to that, but... You know, Montenegro, you love them or hate them, love or hate their songs, there's always something to talk about with their entries, you know, Highway, you know, everything, there's always, if it's their staging or their song, they just always get people talking, which I think is a very important thing, because if they're talking about your song, you're being remembered. So obviously, this is going to be, we're expecting this to be something very wow, loud, wacky, vibrant, camp. Um, if that is the case, um, ha are you happy about that, because Eurovision has kind of gone away from that in the last few years, so are you happy that Montenegro might be bringing that element back to the contest? Yeah, definitely. I've missed it. <laughs> like, in the past few years, we've not really had any fun, like, fun entries, so, like, something that is typical Eurovision, and I do miss it, honestly, so if Montenegro are the people that bring it back, then fair enough, why, why not? <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not against it either, personally, but at the end of the day, it's a song contest, and I will hold judgement until I hear the song. It could, you know, be completely something I don't like, but I can still appreciate it. So we're saying bring on the camp cheesiness from Montenegro, but what are you saying? Are you wanting Slavko to bring, like, the big party and everything? Make sure you let us know. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and make sure you follow theeurotrip.com, where we have news and reviews every single week between now and Eurovision 2017.